Hi guys, so today's project revolves around a Raspberry Pi Zero and a piece of wire. We're going to be turning the Pi Zero into a radio transmitter, something you'll be able to tune into on any FM radio. Oh, and also I've got a new camera, so let me know what you think of the quality and the uh, fancy pants camera angles. So let's get right into it, right after these words. Malduino is an open source Arduino based bad USB. You can use it to inject keystrokes at lightning speed, gain a shell, change someone's desktop wallpaper, anything you can do with a keyboard and 15 minutes of your time, Malduino can do in a matter of seconds. To find out more, see the Indiegogo link in the description. So before we start, it's worth noting that you should check your local laws regarding whether you can even do this in the first place and on which frequencies. Since I'm only going to be demonstrating this for a few seconds, I'm not too bothered. Once you've got your Pi, the first thing you'll need to do is make an antenna. A 15cm strip of solid core wire will do fine, though you could use a standard jump wire if that's all you have to hand. So in this case, the software we're going to be using utilizes GPIO pin 4. That's 4 along from that square connector, which is on the end of the microSD card connector. As you can see, I'm using, I think they're called helping hands to keep everything in place while I'm soldering. It just holds everything in place, it makes my life so much easier, so if you do soldering regularly, I'd really suggest you pick some up. So there you go, a nice clean solder joint. Maybe a bit too much solder, but whatever it'll do. So I'll just go ahead and snip the remnants off there. So as far as hardware goes, you're pretty much done. The next steps take place on the Pi itself. So go ahead and flash a new copy of Raspbian onto a microSD card, and then go ahead and open up a terminal window on the Raspberry Pi itself. Whether that's with a keyboard and a monitor, that's fine. Here, I'm plugging it directly into my computer itself, and then SSHing into it. Let me know if you want me to do a video on that, by the way. So for the software side of things, we're going to using FM Transmitter. I'll go ahead and download it on my Pi in just a sec, though for now I thought it would just be important to state that it supports WAV files um, natively, that's .wav, and if you want to use MP3 files on this, you're going to have to go through some of these steps. I tried going through them, it literally took hours on my Pi and it didn't end up working in the end. I didn't bother trying to fix it because it's not that too important to me. You can always just convert your MP3 files to WAV format. So the link to this page will of course be in the description. You're going to want to go ahead and click clone or download, right click download zip and copy link address just so we have that on our clipboard. So once you've got a terminal up on the Pi, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new folder to put everything in. Let's just call it radio and go into radio. Okay, so we're going to want to go ahead and download uh, that project. So if we just do wget and then the zip file Okay, so once it's downloaded, it's called master.zip, so we can just do unzip master.zip and it will unzip that and put it in the folder for us. So I'll CD into FM transmitter. So next we just need to paste in a few commands to compile the project. So those commands are available on the GitHub, as you can see there, the first line, sudo apt get blah blah blah, and then make. So I'll just paste those in and then we should be good to go. Each of the commands might take a couple of minutes, but that's absolutely normal. So now we're pretty much good to go. I'll just go ahead and uh, clear the terminal here. So to open a file and start transmitting, all you're going to need to do is type sudo dot slash fm transmitter hyphen f and then the frequency. I'll just put an x there for now because I'll come back to that in just a second. And then hyphen r and the file name. I'll just put file name as a placeholder for now. So when it comes to choosing a frequency to transmit on, we're going to want to find a frequency which really isn't in use. Obviously, if you're going to do this for prolonged periods, you're going to want to check your laws. However, I'm only going to be doing it for a few seconds, so I'm not too worried. Uh, so you could just use a regular radio to find a frequency which, which isn't in use, or you could use one of these, which is a TV tuner. It also allows you to receive DAB, digital audio broadcasting, but more importantly for us, FM frequency modulation. So this is going to allow us to scan the airwaves, find a frequency which really isn't in use and we'll transmit on that. So expect to see more of this on this channel. I haven't really got into SDR that much as of yet. However, I've got an up converter that I haven't really put to use yet. So I really want to get into that because it looks like a load of fun. So this piece of software is called HDSDR. It allows us to scan all the different FM frequencies and listen in to what's going on and whatever. So uh, this, uh, what you're seeing here, goes from 95 megahertz to 97 megahertz. So we can see all the different radio stations within this um, frequency range. So here it looks like there's only really one. There's a few other ones which might be uh, radio stations. So if we just listen into the random noise here, you can hear the sound of the universe. I guess, and if we go to a radio station, 
it suddenly springs into life. Uh, not all radio stations are created equal, some of better quality than others. So if we see what else is going on. I don't know what these peaks are, but they're not radio stations, they're something else. Who knows? So if we go along a bit, there's a few more radio stations. And so let's just try and find somewhere which is a little less crowded. Uh, let's go along. Okay, this looks good. So there's really not much going on here. Let's choose this here. 103.3 because there's well nothing in nothing here and there's nothing around it so we're unlikely to interfere with anything and even if we do it'll only be for about uh, uh, 10 seconds or something because that's how long I'm going to transmit for and to only to the people within a few meters of me because this Raspberry Pi really isn't that powerful so we shouldn't run into any problems there. Right, so you'll notice I'm filming this bit on my camera because for some reason HDSDR just doesn't like to be recorded. It'll go all laggy and just horrible. But anyway, so this is the final part. Um, so here, as you remember from earlier, I've got sudo dot slash fm transmitter hyphen f and then the frequency, in this case 103.3 hyphen r and then the file we're going to be transmitting. In this case, kek.wav. However, I do think this comes preloaded with the Star Wars theme tune. I think it's star underscore wars.wav, but whatever. Here we're going to be using the uh, national anthem of Kekistan. So let's go and do that. If I pan over to the uh, to SDR, HDSDR. Okay, so if all goes well, when I press enter, you should see this band that I'm currently looking at just light up. So let's give that a go. All right, we are in action. Let's just turn the volume up. Okay, it's a bit noisy. Let's see what we can do to sort that out. Okay, well, it works, uh, which is good. It's surprisingly good quality for how small the Raspberry Pi is and how low power it is. Let's just... Um... So you can see that it is working and um, it's kind of jumping up and down to the beat. And all the... I'm guessing this is the past information here that's going up. So uh, let's see if I can get it working on my radio, my wind-up radio which I don't see why it wouldn't work, but let's get it go going just for the hell of it. Let's see, I'll turn the light on here. And let's wind this up. Let's see. I'll just wind this up and turn the computer volume off. And let's see if we can get this going. It's working. So, um, <laughs> I test this earlier and the range isn't that great. It will just about uh, cover my house. But apart from that, it's all, you know, fall off uh, and drop off pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, it's actually a pretty fun project. And um, if you know someone that listens on certain bands, you could kind of mess with them, I suppose. However, you know, you'd want to check out the legality of that. Uh, I take no responsibility for your actions, of course. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah, one other thing. Um, as you can see, it's jumping up and down now. Let's turn that up. And if I go over to the um, console, the terminal, and do Control-Z to shut everything down to close the program, you'll see that everything here just stops. And the airwaves are silent. You could even set this thing up so it would start transmitting on startup. So why is that useful? Well, if you plug in a micro USB to USB cable and then into a power bank and then you could have it on the side here and you'd have um, essentially a portable radio station. So that's pretty cool if you were to just uh, to apply some hot glue to the bottom of it. There, pretty messy, but oh well. And on there. Just hold it for a few seconds and you have a portable radio station. Put this in your backpack wherever you go and broadcast to the world, I guess. <laughs> well, to everyone within uh, your vicinity at least. 
So thanks for watching guys, though one quick announcement before I sign off is that I now have a subreddit, so if you have any questions about this video or any of my other videos, head over to the subreddit, the subreddit name is Satopia, uh, the link is going to be in the description down below, because the, um, the Discord is good to interact with people, we, we talk on voice chat and it's good fun, however it's not really great for answering people's questions because things get buried, the chat moves so fast, it's impossible to keep up with, and I get the same question a million times over Twitter and in the YouTube comments, so it's just best if everything's um, centralised in one location, if you've got a question about this video or something relating to this video, there will be a post up on the subreddit specifically relating to this video. So if you have any questions, just go in there, see if anyone else has asked it, and there you go. If they haven't, just post a comment and I'll answer it. Don't create a new post just about this video because there's already going to be one there. Uh, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Remember to like this video if you haven't liked it, uh, subscribe, uh, follow me on Twitter, I'm at Satonic, and stay tuned for more hacking videos.